It's December 31st, 2023, and I am about to take a pregnancy test. I have been feeling like a lot of pregnancy symptoms over the last week. I don't know, I just keep having these dreams that I'm pregnant. Get ready with me to find out I'm pregnant. Here we go. I don't know how long you're supposed to leave it in. I'm not experienced in this. Okay, I have two just in case, so my hands are shaking. I'm gonna set both those down, <laughs> go pray, and I'm gonna come back in a few minutes. <laughs> Maybe it's just my brain. I like just feel so much peace that if I am pregnant, that it's God's plan and will. And I feel very emotionally bonded to a baby I don't even know if I have right now. <laughs> I'm so I'm like, oh, my heart's racing. If it's positive, if it's negative, please, Jesus. I think I can pick up the big one now. Maybe positive that is like a full blown positive. <laughs> oh my god, that's so scary. Scott's asleep, so he doesn't even know I'm taking this right now because because you have to take it with your first urine in the morning. Um, and we have not done our Christmas gifts yet because we were out of town for Christmas. And so this morning we're gonna open up all of our Christmas gifts. So I think I'm gonna wrap this as a gift. I guess mother's intuition is so real because literally all day yesterday I was just like, I just feel pregnant. Like I can't explain it. I just feel like I here we are, bro. <laughs> no, I'm actually filming. Okay, all of our gifts are there. Positive pregnancy tests are in here. I wrote this little note that says, hi dad, I can't wait to meet you. We're just gonna put it on top of that. And I don't know what to do right now. I feel so out of what. I wrapped this one this morning too because I brought it back with us. <laughs> I didn't have enough wrapping paper. What a wonderful world. <laughs> Surprise! We're I'm pregnant! pregnant. Ah! That sounds very weird to say. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually finally saying that to a camera for the first time. Now that you know, you can look back on the last probably four Keeley videos and see if you can see, see certain things, I guess. You guys obviously know now that we are expecting we have a baby due in September. We're gonna be parents! We've been keeping the secret from you guys for a few months um, and yeah. it's been really hard because I've been really sick during the time. I've been trying to hide it the best I can in all the Keely videos. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been wearing very oversized clothes. <laughs> We've been vlogging over the last few months to keep you guys updated once we told y'all. This is 100% not clickbait. This is real. And even in the last video, the team thought it'd be a good idea to, to put like a quick Easter egg in there. That was a fully real surprise for Keely, and she had showed me that chair, and she was like, I really want this. And for so, our nursery. Yeah, for, for the future nursery, and so the team helped me get that for the video to actually surprise Keely at the end. I wonder if anybody's like watching this right now, I was like, I knew it, I knew it. Or good, if they're like, job. I had no idea. <laughs> good job if you knew it. Yeah, Alan's finding out for the first time right now. 
<laughs> <laughs> so now that you guys know our big secret, let's take a look back at the last few weeks of what our life has looked like. Time travel. So um, Scott and I were like, we don't know what to do. So we decided to come to a half price bookstore and find a pregnancy book. That's logical, right? Is that what you do when you find out you're pregnant? There's so many to choose from. Birth. A child is born. Wait, Scott, show them this one we found. This is funny. Bad baby names. Can you read us some bad baby names? Cuckoo Kachu. <laughs> I'm very overwhelmed and it's my first day being pregnant. <laughs> we pulled this one out. This lady left her sonogram pictures in here. Oh my god. <laughs> we could tell my parents I'm pregnant with this. That's wrong. <laughs> Okay, so the first step after taking a pregnancy test is going to get some labs drawn to okay, confirm I'm it. at the lab to test my levels and just confirm with a blood test that I'm pregnant. You're testing for my HCG levels, which is your pregnancy hormone, and my progesterone. Why am I nervous? Like, I already know it's going to be, obviously, like, I know I'm pregnant, so I know my levels are going to be fine, but, like, I don't know why I'm nervous. What if all the pregnancy tests I've taken are not, like, real? <laughs> like, what if it's all fake? Just what if all it's fake? Okay, so I just left the lab to get my blood drawn. Scott took me, but he stayed in the car. Just, After we got the labs drawn, they called us the next day and told us we are officially pregnant, which we already knew. Look at me, the most brave pregnant woman in all the world. Okay, so we were at home and the pregnancy craving hit hard and fast. I made Scott drive me 20 minutes to the closest in and out. It literally smells so good. My sense of smell, it's been extremely heightened, I think, in the last few days. She has superhuman smell. It's crazy. I walked out of the house and somebody was grilling in their backyard and I could smell it. And I was like, it's a burger. I have to get in and out. I'm so excited to eat this burger. That's the best in and out I think I've ever had. Really? <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> that is one thing about this pregnancy I'm not looking forward to. It's just wild, insane pregnancy cravings. Also, big news. We got the blood test sent over to my doctor. Then they called and scheduled my ultrasound for next week. So you're our first ultrasound. Are you excited to see the baby? Yeah. I'm really nervous. I think it'll look like a person yet. And it's probably just gonna look like a little sack. It'll look like a little placebo sack. He keeps calling the placenta a placebo. Are you ready to be a dad? Yeah, I'm already doing dad jokes. <laughs> Hi. I thought I would give you guys like a little vlog update. It's taken a week to process. <laughs> and I just honestly feel like I've just been in shock. It hasn't felt real until I started telling a few people and I was like, I'm pregnant. But even when I tell them, like, it doesn't feel like it's my baby just yet. It's so weird. I'm having a baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our first ultrasound is tomorrow. So my doctor wanted me to go ahead and go in and get a ultrasound at five and a half weeks. She said at this point, it's so early, we probably won't hear a heartbeat. So I'm not sure if we're allowed to film in there tomorrow. I hope you are. I just don't even know what to feel. Like I've just been so overwhelmed and like in shock and excited and scared and nervous. But a lot of symptoms definitely started kicking in this week. I haven't thrown it up yet, but yesterday I made toast and I gagged the entire time I ate it. And I can smell things like crazy. I can smell gasoline in cars as they drive by. Scott was pouring hand soap in our kitchen and I was in my bedroom and could smell it. So that was weird. And that makes me want to throw up. I have been extremely exhausted taking naps every day and out of breath for no reason. Like literally talking right now, making me out of breath. <laughs> I think we're actually gonna tell Preston Brady tonight because we're hanging out with them. So. Oh! so I think that's a good opportunity to do that. But I'm like so in shock and scared and nervous and excited and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. I cannot believe I'm pregnant. This is literally so crazy. <laughs> okay, so right now we're on the way to tell Preston and Brady. But I just took a clear blue digital test for the first time and it says pregnant on it. It's so weird seeing it. Why is that weird? Because I've never, I've just not seen it written out. <laughs> I don't know why telling Preston and Brie feels like it's gonna make it feel so real. Just setting into a deeper level. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Scott, I gotta tell you what happened today though. What? So I'm buying the, the digital test. Yeah. I was checking out and two fans walked up to me as I'm putting the pregnancy test in the bag. And they're like, are you Keely? And I was like, hi. Comment if that was you that saw her at CVS. That's crazy. I was like so shocked. So that was you guys. You knew way before this video came out. So good for you, congrats. Yeah. Okay, so we're at Preston and Bree's condo right now. And I just set up the little surprise gift. Here it is. Oh my God, it's so cute. So I'm gonna have this gift wrapped in this drawer here. And when they get here, they have no idea that Scott and I have been here setting up an entire scavenger hunt for them. So when they get from work, we're just gonna be here and be like, we have a scavenger hunt for you. And they're gonna scavenger hunt all around their house and eventually find the little present. <laughs> I'm so nervous to tell them. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Today is ultrasound day, Poppy. 
<laughs> you excited? We're literally about to leave right now. This morning was not good. I was so nauseous. I was so tired and exhausted. I couldn't get out of bed. So I just laid in bed and then I cried because I really wanted a McDonald's breakfast sandwich. So good. Scott brought me one home. So that was a good morning. Um, another thing is that none of my clothes fit me, and I'm only five and a half weeks, but none of my jeans fit me already because I have an insane bloat. So look at these maternity leggings that I bought already. They go all the way up. Isn't that crazy, Bobby? Anyway, we're gonna find out if I'm actually five and a half weeks or if I'm farther along, and we may or may not hear the heartbeat, so. I'm trying to not get my hopes up too much because if it is that early, I don't want to be stressed if I don't hear heartbeats. So let's go see what happens. So we couldn't film in the ultrasound room. However, we did get these cute little pictures of the gestational sac. But this is good and confirms that we are pregnant and everything is healthy. Hello, it's time for an update. So I had my ultrasound two days ago. It was pretty good, but the ultrasound tech didn't give us a lot of like, oh, hello, Poppy. You can be a big sister. So the ultrasound tech did tell me there that I was measuring five weeks, four days, which is exactly where I thought I was. Um, my doctor just called me this morning. She said that the ultrasound looks really, really good with my labs. So praise God. I just had the most intense, insane, like the craziest craving for chocolate chip cookies. I then went to one store and they didn't have the Nestle Toll House. And so I went to a second store and they didn't have it. So I went to a third store and I finally got my cookies. I have had the most insane craving. I was eating lunch and I was like, I don't want this. What do I want? The only thing that came to my head was chocolate chip cookies. I immediately grabbed my keys, left the house. I've been locked, literally driving around for an hour in all these different stores trying to find Nestle Toll House. And now that I have it, I'm gonna be a crazy pregnant woman. I'm gonna eat a little bit of it raw. Don't come for me. Praise God. I don't know why I needed this so bad. Pregnancy is crazy. Also the cashier looked at me like I was actually a crazy woman. I mean, I am, but the cashier was like, this is it? And I was like, yep. I'm sure he's thinking like, are you okay, sweetheart? No, I'm fine. I'm just, I am crazy, but it's just because I'm pregnant. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello, it is January 17th. I am six weeks and four days pregnant. And something very funny happened today while I was at work. Obviously no one at my work other than my immediate team knows, but we were sitting in like a main conference room area and had the overwhelming urge to run to the bathroom and throw up. So I do. As I'm throwing up, Preston and Brie have a fancy freaking toilet, okay? And I laid my arms on the toilet. It sets off their bidet. And the bidet sprays me in the face as I'm getting sprayed in the face and puking at the same time, mind you. Hot air then rushes to dry my face. So that was a wild experience and I just felt like you guys deserve to know that story. So if you wanna know how pregnancy is going, that was just a little cherry on the cake for how I've been feeling. <laughs> But I'm really excited because tomorrow we're going to tour the birthing center for the first time. We will see how that goes. Hello! I am in the car with Scott and my mom. We are on the way to a potential birthing center. Ah! I'm nervous. Mom, you're gonna have to help me think of all the right questions to ask. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll, hopefully I'll be in my right brain. You have six kids. You should know the right things to ask. So I'm a first time mom, okay? So I'm looking into options of potential hospital versus birthing center, etc. So I just wanna like go and tour and find all the options. And so I found a birthing center that I really like. So we're going to tour it, look at it today, see if we like it. Where well, we have a baby. Yeah. Woohoo! Have a baby. <laughs> I'm nervous. So I've been looking into my options of either a hospital versus a birthing center. And I'm really starting to lean towards a birthing center because look at this place. It is so comforting and cozy. I think it'll be really nice to have me and my husband and my mom here in a really calming environment, being able to bring our baby into the world. Hello. I just ordered Taco Bueno because that's what I was craving. So we had the birth tour a couple days ago. I really loved, I'm really excited about. I feel like I'm gonna get such good care there. And it just felt like such a calming and relaxing environment to bring my baby into the world. So I'm really excited about that. So we scheduled our first appointment and it's two weeks from Monday, today's Saturday. And then have our sonogram, which I'm really excited about because with that sonogram I'll be nine weeks, which means we'll get to her in the heartbeat. An update on me, I am not thriving. <laughs> I have been so sick. I mean, I'm just throwing up multiple times a day. I just feel fatigued. I'm napping numerous hours a day. 
like I'm trying to hold it together. Something that I just was thinking about that I've never really heard women talk about with pregnancy, like the emotional aspect of like food aversions. For example, I just ordered all this Taco Bell because I was like, that sounds good. But at the same time, I'm absolutely dreading eating it because I know I'm just gonna throw it up. And it's just like a very emotionally taxing thing because I've been doing this for like three weeks now, I've been sick. I just get anxious every time it's meal time. And I thought I'd share that with you guys because if there is another mama watching this, it is very emotionally toxic and I see you and I feel you. So that's how I'm feeling right now. But not to be a Debbie Downer, like I'm really excited about this baby, I really am. Today the baby is the size of a blueberry. Ah, I just can't wait to share it with the world. But right now little baby Ellis is just chilling and ready to eat some taco bueno. You could take less of the nutrients and leave me some, but it's fine. At the doctor's office, getting an IV. like complete crap. Hopefully I can get some hydration for me, baby. Hello, I am seven weeks and three days today. And how am I doing? I'm sitting at my bed with my puke bucket. Yay! I was completely dehydrated yesterday and uh, my birth center, I called them, they had a cancellation, so I was able to go get fluids. So praise God for that. After that, I felt really good and I'm having a really good day. Um, we're going to shoot this afternoon. My husband goes back to first grade, which is a lot of people at a big shoot, so I can't miss it. I like ate my breakfast and then immediately just so I'm supposed to get up in the next hour. If y'all have noticed lately, if my energy is low in my last few videos or anything, this would be why. I'll give you guys an update in a little while, I guess, if I decide if I can make it or not. <laughs> okay, I ended up getting dressed and getting to the office. I ate some food, I feel much better. But look how cute this is. They were sending Scott back to first grade. And so I'm going to be trying to figure out who Scott is in a room full of first graders. But praise the Lord. I'm feeling so much better right now. And I'm gonna get through the shoot and it's gonna be great. Hello, I feel like I have not updated in forever. Today I am nine weeks and two days. A few days ago, I ended up going to the doctors and I ended up having to get on a vitamin IV. They actually were able to give me finally my first prescription. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, I can't update this video. You guys are freaking out. <laughs> so they were finally able to prescribe me medication because I turned 10 weeks. Praise the Lord, because I took my first dose yesterday and yesterday was the first day in over four weeks that I didn't throw up. And it was like a glorious day. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm completely congested with an upper respiratory infection on top of being sick from pregnancy. But like that kind of eased my nausea all day. I went from feeling like a nine or a 10 to feeling like a five yesterday. And it was just like the most amazing day I've ever had, <laughs> which I still didn't feel good because I was sick, but like, it's fine. It's just everybody has different pregnancies and I am having a very difficult one, which is okay because at the end of this, I'm gonna have a cutie little baby to love. Today is a really exciting day though, because it's actually 12 o'clock right now I have meeting in 15 minutes we're actually gonna be telling our editors and the rest of our team that I'm pregnant today so editors editing this video I'm about to go tell you guys how does right. that feel is that meta <laughs> and then we have our next ultrasound appointment today at 1 30 hoping we hear the heartbeat we might not but we're gonna at least get to see baby and not just like a sack. I'm kind of nervous because there's so many things that could be wrong, but I'm not gonna focus on those. I'm gonna believe and choose to believe that baby's happy and healthy and everything's good. So anyway, so I'll catch up with you guys in a few hours when we're on the way to our ultrasound. Is this your first ultrasound? I had one at five weeks, but we couldn't see baby. So I'm just like, I'm nervous. You can see baby here. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna do this real quick. This is so fast. Oh my gosh, it's so quick. Their heartbeat. Yeah. Your mom's gonna love this. Just seeing this. Hello. We are taking our pregnancy and that's our picture now. Feels weird to say that. I know. We have our ultrasound picture. We have Kelsey here. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna take lots of pictures and we decided to do a Valentine's theme because we're announcing this on Valentine's. So let's take some pictures with the baby. Girl or boy, though. It could be a girl, could be a boy. I have no idea. Why not both? This ultrasound shows one baby. I swear. If another one's hiding, Whew. I need to. Okay. 
Can I get this on camera? You can get it on camera. I'm gonna sing us a dog. Everybody needs to know pregnancy and freeze. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just kill audio. I think it's hot. Keely, I think it's hot. <laughs> well, you guys are all caught up now on what our life has looked like, which has been pretty crazy whirlwind. Praise the Lord, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. Yeah. My pregnancy has not been easy by any means, but you know, it's okay because I'm really excited. There's gonna be a little baby Ellis at the end of all this, which will be so worth it. And I know our kids one day are gonna get to look back on all this, which I think is gonna be really fun. <laughs> yeah. This Saturday on February 17th, we're putting out a video of all of the family and friends' reactions to telling them that we're pregnant. There's some really, really good ones you're gonna wanna see. It. With that being said, I have no idea what the future of our channel is going to look like. I have no idea if we're going to continue to keep up all of our skits and challenges and all that. Comment down below what type of videos you want to see. What videos you yeah. want to see about the baby, about our family. We're new parents. We're about to figure out a whole new chapter in our life. And with that comes figuring out a whole new chapter for YouTube. So yeah. we want to say thank you to every single one of you guys watching this video. We wouldn't be able to be where we are without your support and your love. I'm just so happy that I get to experience this with Scott and that we get to experience this with you guys. So make sure you come back Saturday to watch that video. And I uh, can't wait to take you all along for the ride. Bye! Thanks come for back watching. Saturday! <laughs>